types of overlapping and nature of covalent bonds. Depending upon the type of overlapping, covalent bonds are divided into two. First one sigma bond and second one pi bond. Sigma bond, it is denoted like this, sigma, okay. The covalent bond is formed by the end-to-end -end overlapping of half-filled atomic orbitals through internuclear axis. Okay, along internuclear axis is known as sigma bond. So, what is sigma bond? This type of bond is formed by the end-to-end -end overlap. Two half filled atomic orbitals, okay. Two half filled atomic orbitals of two bonded atoms, okay. Atomic orbitals of two bonded atoms along internuclear axis. This type of bonding is known as sigma bond, okay. This is also known as head on or axial overlapping this type of overlapping is known as is also known as head on or axial overlapping mm -hmm. head on or axial overlapping the electrons constituting the sigma bond are known as sigma electrons okay electrons constituting sigma bond is known as sigma electrons okay now there are different types of overlapping in sigma bond let us discuss one by one first one yes yes overlapping here overlapping between two half filled s orbitals along internuclear axis okay overlapping of two half filled s orbitals okay s orbitals of along internuclear axis okay See? example formation of h2 molecule okay s orbital one s orbital of one hydrogen atom and next one one s orbital of second r Second hydrogen atom overlaps. This type of overlapping is known as SS overlapping. Okay. Here SS overlap takes place. Next, second one is SP overlapping. Here overlapping takes place between S orbital of one atom and p orbital of the other atom. So, overlap between half filled p orbital or half filled s orbital and half filled p orbital. Okay. Half filled s orbital and half filled p orbital along internuclear axis. Okay. The example is HF molecule. HF. Here hydrogen atom S orbital overlaps with P orbital of fluorine atom. Okay. P orbital of fluorine atom. So overlap. This SP overlapping. Okay. Now, the third one is PP overlapping. 
here the overlap between half filled p orbitals of two atoms okay half filled p orbitals two half filled p orbitals takes place along internuclear axis example is f2 molecule f2 here what will happen 2p orbital of one f uh, one f atom and 2p of other s atom overlapping takes place like this okay so this is called as pp overlap these are the three types of overlapping in the case of sigma bond okay second type of covalent bond is pi bond noted like this okay so this type of overlapping involves the lateral or sidewise overlap of two half filled atomic orbitals okay this type of overlapping involves lateral or sidewise lateral or sidewise overlap of two half filled atomic orbitals okay Here, the two orbitals are perpendicular to the internuclear axis like this. So, perpendicular to the internuclear axis. Okay, perpendicular to the internuclear axis. So, these two p orbitals overlap and form like this. Overlapping takes place. Okay. Is called as pi bond. So pi bond is obtained like this. Okay, and these two orbitals, these two p orbitals, are perpendicular to the plane of the, the internuclear axis. And in this case of, uh, if we compare uh, this pi bond and sigma bond, the strength of the bond depends upon the extent of overlapping. Okay, so in the case of sigma bond. Extent of overlapping is more. Okay. Is more than pi bond. That means. So sigma bond is stronger than pi bond. Distinguish between sigma bond and pi bond. Okay. First point. In the case of sigma bond, end to end or head on overlapping takes place. Okay. End to end or head on. But in case of pi bond, lateral or sidewise overlap takes place. Okay. Sidewise overlap takes place second point in this case ss overlapping takes place then pp overlapping and sp overlapping takes place okay but in the case of pi bond mainly pp overlap takes place okay pp overlap next third point when a sigma bond is stronger Okay, so strong bond due to strong bond due to greater extent of overlap. But in here, weak bond due to weak bond 
due to less extent of overlap. Next, fourth point, free rotation of atoms around sigma bond. Free rotation is possible, okay. Free rotation of atoms around sigma bond is possible, okay. But what will be the case of pi bond? No free rotation because it may cause the breakage of the bond. Okay, no free rotation it may cause breakage of bond. So these are the differences between sigma bond and 